what's going on everybody this is d car lady coming at you all right today we're going to talk about direct mail pro review how does it really stack up all right uh first off let me just go ahead and tell you about direct mail pro all right it is a company um that basically is dealing with offline marketing okay it has educational um levels educational package levels that you can join and when a person happens to join you you also can earn a commission from that as well okay so if you're not 100 sure uh what direct mail pro is definitely i'll leave my link below because i actually did another video that really goes uh you know further in depth on that but what I wanted to do now is really give you guys my review. Now, keep in mind, okay, Direct Mail Pro is in pre-launch. So my review is based on the information that I have at hand right now. And I want to really kind of show you guys um, some information that I found. And then really, you can be the judge on does it really stack up, okay? Either yay or nay, all right? I'll let you be the judge. So to go ahead and do that, let's uh, go ahead and jump into it, all right? All right, guys, I'm sharing my screen with you to go ahead and I, I, I got some points um, put down here and I'm going to go ahead and go over each of those and give you, you know, this is coming from my take. All right. Just to kind of preface this. OK, this is coming from my take. I have been involved with other offline opportunities. So these are some things, you know, that I find helpful when you're deciding, you know, if Direct Mail Pro is for you. All right. Now, definitely stick around to the end. OK, because I have some cool bonuses for you. All right, first off, number one, no cash in the mail, okay? I will be the first to admit that when I first decided to get involved with offline marketing, you know, as, as it relates to, you know, sending out postcards, sending out letters, I was ecstatic about being able to receive money in the mail or cash in the mail, all right? And I mean, there's nothing wrong with it as far as, you know, it definitely gives you an adrenaline, adrenaline rush, but what I found, guys, is that there were a lot of people who were hesitant to join an opportunity that had, you know, where you could receive cash in the mail. They were a little skeptical. OK, so I actually do like the fact that with Direct Mail Pro, it, it is not about sending cash in the mail anymore. The company actually collects the uh, payments for you and collects that and you and pays you a commission. So that's number one. OK, so as I go through these guys, what I would like for you to do is just kind of take a look at them, listen to what I'm saying. And then, like I said, you be the judge on how it stacks up to any other opportunity that you want to join or any anything of that nature as it deals with making money um, in offline marketing, okay? Number two, the uh, parent company of, of Direct Mail Pro is actually rated on a Better Business Bureau, okay? In my opinion, guys, that is a good plus, okay? Now, the reason why I'm saying that, because I'm gonna be honest with you. Normally, I really wouldn't care when it comes to, you know, the different business opportunities. I really wouldn't care if a company is rated um, with the Better Business Bureau, you know, because there are some great companies that are not rated with the Better Business Bureau, okay? Just wanna throw that out there. But what I found in, you know, in my ventures with offline marketing and direct mail marketing, you know, in general, that a lot of people, you know, were kind of bringing that up as a point, like, oh, well, is such and such company, you know, are they even listed on the Better Business Bureau or are they rated or or are they accredited, which is different. Rating and, and accredited is different. You know, so with that being said, my thing is, guys, if I'm going to join an opportunity, right, I may feel comfortable with it, but think about it, okay? If other people don't feel comfortable with it, they don't feel comfortable with the product or whatever the process is, then it's going to be difficult to market something, you know, if other people are not feeling comfortable with it. So for that reason, because I had the ability to go through certain experiences, I now actually, you know, appreciate, you know, if, you know, uh, a company is at least listed on the Better Business Bureau. Okay. So that's just my take on that. Now, the owner also is readily available. This is another thing that came up, you know, during, you know, my times, like I said, of actually being a part of, let me get that on my screen, actually being a part of different offline opportunities, okay? It came up that people were like, oh, well, who's the owner of this? Who's the owner of that? And mind you guys, I'm not saying any company names because there's some great companies out there and I love the companies, okay? But these are just some things that other people brought up. I would not have even thought about it but other people brought it up and it's like hey i want everyone to feel comfortable if they're going to you know be in whatever business opportunity they're going to be in i would like them to feel comfortable because 
those are the potential prospects, right, that will want to join you in something, you know, join you in this particular opportunity or any opportunity. So for that, that's why I put that on my list, that the owner is readily available. The owner is actually available in a Facebook group, and I'll show you that in just a moment. Also, the parent company is over 20 years old. Now, I keep saying the parent company, okay, because the parent company is Multiplex Systems. The, that is the parent company for uh, Direct Mail Pro. And that company has been around for over 20 years, okay? And that speaks, again, you know, to the longevity of a company. Now, I do care about that. Now, don't get me wrong. I'll definitely, you know, um, do business with a startup all day long, twice on Sunday, right? But I do care you know, if a company does have longevity, they've been around, you know, for a while, that definitely does give it a plus in my book, okay? Now, but it may not be the case for you. All right, now number five, a proven track record, okay? And what am I basing this part off of, all right? So that way I can be fully transparent with you. Like I said, because at the end of the day, I want you to decide how it stacks up to anything that you want to be a part of, okay? I'm basing that off of, I've actually been and still am actually a part of two of the other business opportunities that are under that parent company. Once again, that parent company is Multiplex Systems, but they do have other business opportunities as well that are based around education products and you also can earn an income. Two of those products that I myself am a part of is Easy One Up and National Wealth Center. Those two are also um, companies that you know the particular owner Peter Wolfing actually owns as well. And they have a proven track record. Um, those those two companies are alive and well, kicking. I still, you know, really um, make great income, you know, with those companies. So I definitely know firsthand it does have a proven track record, at least to the degree that I've been in the company and other people have been in the company. So that is a plus in my book. All right, now, all right. Over here, we see the Better Business Bureau. Like I said, the company is listed on the Better Business Bureau. And once again, this is the parent company, Multiplex Systems. This is the parent company that Direct Mail Pro falls underneath, okay, underneath that umbrella. And it is rated, it does have a BBB rating, a Better Business Bureau rating of an A. Now, mind you guys, this rating here is based on, you know, what people go up here. If they have a place that they get resolved, then they have the opportunity to score the company accordingly. Okay. All right. Now, don't get that confused with accredited because I know a lot of times people, you know, kind of get that confused. Well, accredited is something you have to actually pay the Better Business Bureau for. You actually have to pay to be accredited, pay to go through their process. You got to pay them. Okay, but to get a rating, you don't have to pay. And actually, you don't want to pay anyone for any ratings. You want people to go on there and just give their honest opinion. So I actually hold that, you know, kind of in high regard as far as the fact that the rating is an A. That means that they're doing something right. That doesn't mean anyone else is doing anything wrong, but at least this company is doing something right. So I can really appreciate that. And remember the other thing I said I was gonna show you guys is about the owner, all right, being readily available. Now this is the Facebook group for the easy one up um, um, business opportunity, okay? Because obviously, like I said, Direct Mail Pro, okay, is in pre-launch, all right? So that particular Facebook group has not started up just yet. But this is the one that the owner, I've noticed the owner is very active in, and that is a plus. When you can find the owner, whether they be in this group or another group, it doesn't matter, you know, join the group, and that way you can access the owner. Now, this is the owner right here, Peter Wolfing, and I just want to kind of scroll through really quick and just kind of show you, you know, that this is an active group here, Okay, people are posting, and this right here is actually Peter Wolfing, the owner of Direct Mail Pro, you know, um, posting here, letting us know what's coming available with Direct Mail Pro. And also, as we scroll down here a little bit more, you'll see some people interacting as well, you know, with results, and that's great. But we scroll down here a little bit more, okay, and that's another post by Peter. But this right here, I want to show you because it's not just posts about hey guys, you know, join this new business opportunity. It's posts that actually, you know, inspire you if you were in the group, inspire people in the group, um, teach people in a group, okay? Uh, like here, this is one that Peter has been doing um, regularly, uh, giving us tips from the 60 second millionaire. And now I mentioned this, because once again, you know, in some of the opportunities that I've been in, it just came up that, hey, Nobody knows who the owner is. Nobody can find the owner. Isn't that odd? This is what people were saying. Like I said, I wasn't really thinking about it, 
you know, as an entrepreneur, I wasn't really thinking about it, but because other people were thinking about it and it made them hesitant, you know, to, you know, move forward with things. So now it's something when I'm dealing with, you know, an offline company, it's something that's on my radar. Like, okay, let's just see, is the, is the owner available? The things of that nature. All right. So let's go ahead and see what else we got. Okay, now going on to the next items that I have that are, you know, some things that were brought up. Okay, now, not being owned by affiliates, okay? Now, I'll tell you why I put that on there um, because it is something that I noticed. Like I said, these are things, honestly, that I really did not notice until I got into offline marketing, okay? I really didn't notice them during online marketing, just being honest, okay? I noticed that, you know, a couple of companies, you know, or situations, were where you know customer service wasn't really being tended to and things of that nature um things were kind of changing you know rapidly all the time you know and it really frustrated some people you know that were doing offline marketing and i noticed that when those things were taking place you know it seemed like maybe you know it, i don't know if it was because the companies were owned by affiliates but i kind of think of it like this it's like okay if you own the company and you're also promoting right to earn commissions and everything, sometimes people will change rules to only benefit themselves because they also are affiliates in that situation, you know, in that, in their own company. Okay. Now, like I said, I don't know if that is the case or what have you, but this is just my take with, you know, everything that I've been through with offline marketing, with my experience with offline marketing. So this is, for me, it's a breath of fresh air that Direct Mail Pro, the actual owner, Peter Wolfing, okay, is not an affiliate for his own company. All right. Now, uh, he may have family that's affiliates and what have you, but there's a total difference between, you know, the owner being an affiliate and family members being affiliate. I mean, let's be honest, guys. Um, I definitely would like all of my family members to be affiliates with me. If I'm an affiliate for something, you know, I definitely would want them to join me in business. But if I am the owner, I don't want to be an affiliate for my own product. That's just my personal opinion, because I don't want to, you know, basically be letting things kind of sway my decisions in my favor because I'm an affiliate of my own product. Like I said, that is my take on it. And I definitely appreciate that that's not the case here. Number seven, a physical, tangible product. Okay. Once again, now this is, now I have to say this guys, now this is um, still in pre-launch. So I don't have the full details on what the products are. I have the details as far as what was released to us, you know, so far in the Facebook group. All right. And from what I'm seeing so far, the products are going to come in a box. And I did another video, as a matter of fact, on the products. Um, and that'll be in that link below. I'll make sure I give you um, that link for that. All right. But the physical products are going to come in an actual physical box. Okay. It's about yay big is what it appeared to be a physical box with different marketing materials, training materials, educational materials, because that's the product. That's what you're buying. Now, why am I mentioning this? Okay. Because once again, guys, it's things that I did not think about. Okay. It was, it's not like it was, you know, on my radar to even care if a product was physical or digital. Why? Because I really love digital products, but I realized that in the offline space, you know, I guess maybe it's because we're dealing with, you know, sending out letters and sending out postcards and things of that nature. Maybe that's why people were used to kind of something tangible, but you know, some people were a little hesitant saying like, Oh, well, you know, what's the product? And we're like, Hey, it's digital training. You know, that's literally what the product was in other companies. I mean, well, I really like in this company here, you know, so far, like I said, it is in pre-launch, but so far, you know, I like the fact that there, that we will receive something physical, right. That says, Hey, you know, whatever amount we pay, whether we pay 500 or whether you pay a thousand bucks or whatever we pay, right. We're getting something that's tangible for it. And, and like I said, I have no problem with digital products. To be honest, the majority of the items that I promote are digital products, right? I only noticed that some people, like I said, were a little hesitant when there wasn't a physical product, when it was just maybe like a digit, maybe like a, a PDF download, you know, or maybe they were just buying like a membership into something. You know, some people were a little hesitant. And once again, guys, why does it matter if a lot of people are hesitant? Well, those people are potential business partners, guys. Those people are potential prospects that will want to join you. I really want, you know, if I join something, guys, I want it to be something that the multitude can, you know, feel comfortable about joining if they so choose to. And that's being honest. All right. 
Number eight, um, a free Facebook group. All right. Now, why is that even important? Because there are business opportunities that I've joined, not necessarily in um, offline marketing or direct mail marketing, right? But there are business opportunities that I've joined where you cannot get into their Facebook group until you sign up. I don't know why that is. I just kind of rolled with the punches. But here's the thing, guys. The way that I do things, as far as if I'm looking to join something, right, that I, I found, you know, on social media, I'm going to see if they have a Facebook group so I can join before I join the opportunity. Why? Because I really want to see what the culture is like, right? I want to see if people in there, are they just running amok? Everybody's spamming? Are they in there being mean to each other? and the moderator's not doing anything or the admin's not doing anything, or is there gonna be some assistance in there? If I join this um, business opportunity, is there gonna be some assistance with that community? Those are the things that I look for, but if I have to join a Facebook group first to find that out, then I don't really get that opportunity. Like I said, that's my take on it. You may not care about it, but these are things that I, you know, that I noticed that actually stood out to me that I actually like, that a person can join, you know, um, the Facebook group and see what the culture is like before they even decide to join the opportunity. It's totally up to them. All right. Number nine, close your sales. All right. Now, Direct Mail Pro, okay. Peter Wolfen has said that one of the things that we will be afforded the opportunity with is to have closers, okay? Close our sales. Now, this is huge, okay? This is why I feel that this is huge. For one, yes, there are other companies that I've been a part of that did have the closers. So that that was cool, right? And I'm gonna tell you why I feel that that is good. A lot of times people feel kind of nervous talking to other people that they don't know. So they feel like, oh my goodness, maybe I'm not making sales because I can't close. Because think about it. People say, well, it's an offline product. Why are you gonna need to talk to people? Okay, let's think about that for a minute, right? Just because I get a postcard in the mail or just because I get a letter in the mail that says, hey, there's this wonderful product that can teach me to operate my own business. And then I need to pay, you know, whatever level it is, $250, $1,000, whatever the case may be. That does not mean I'm going to go ahead and send somebody some money or click a button rather and pay some money and I haven't talked to a soul, especially not when we're talking about like 500 to a thousand or, or 5,000 bucks. Okay. I'm not going to do that. Okay. So for me, it is helpful to have, um, you know, people who can close your sales. So that way a person can reach out and say, Hey, yes, give me a call back. I'm interested, but I have a few more questions. Give me a call back and a closer can call them back, answer their questions, and then go ahead and assist in the closing of the sale. Because a lot of times, I'll be honest with you guys, when it comes to, you know, sales period, the, you know, when you, especially when you're dealing with business opportunities, what I've found so far is it's like people, you know, are, you know, maybe open to what you're talking about, but once you actually speak to them or someone speaks to them, it makes them feel a little bit more comfortable. Now they're like, you know what? Okay, this is the right decision. Versus if they can't reach anyone, no one ever gives them a call back or anything like that, then, you know, that person's like, well, man, I would have joined at the thousand dollar level, but now I'm not so sure. So maybe I won't join at all. Okay. So to me, that is very important to be able to have closers to close your sales. All right. And the last two things, all right, and don't mind the fact that they're just, you know, uh, huge on the screen, right? That's just the way they are. Okay, but the last two things, all right, that I really liked um, are the two-level payout and the overrides where you don't miss out, okay? Basically, with the two-level payout, that means you have a direct sale and an indirect sale. So it's 40% on a direct sale uh, and 20% on the indirect sale. Once again, it's in pre-launch, so that is currently what you know what the um, compensation plan is. And don't worry, I have another video that I did on the compensation plan as well, so you can check that out um, as well, so you can get the full compensation plan and understand it. Um, but anyhow, I definitely like the fact that it is two levels. So you get an opportunity to, you know, obviously earn when someone buys that product, you know, through your link, but also when someone buys that product through someone else's link that joins you, you get, you know, a little bit of commission there as well. And that can really add up quickly. Now, the last part I really like overrides where you don't miss out. This is what I've noticed. And this part right here is not just in the offline market, yeah, I've also learned this in the online market. People will basically kind of scare you. It's called uh, FOMO, 
right? F-O-M-O, fear of missing out is what it's called, FOMO, right? So basically what that is, right? People will tell you, oh, you want to go high. You want to go high because if you join at the $250 level and someone else joins you at the $1,000 level, you're not going to make any money. Well, most companies, I'm not going to say most, because it's not like I've been involved with most, but some companies that I have been, well, most of the companies I've been involved with, I'll put it that way. Okay, that's an accurate statement. Most of the companies that I have been involved with, that is how it works. Whereas if you join at a $250 level, right, and someone else comes to your link and they want to buy a product, you know, or, or service, um, and they want to buy it at the $1,000 level, you wind up making nothing and not even a piece of it, right? Okay, so what I like about Direct Mail Pro when it comes to this is there are overrides so that you don't miss out. Basically what that means is if you join at let's say the $500 level, okay? And you get that that particular product. And then someone decides to join through your link, whether it be because your mailings, you know, whatever the case may be, they decide to join through you, okay? Then let's say they join at the $1,000 level. Well, guess what? You still get commission up to what you would have gotten had they just paid 500 bucks. You still get your part of the commission. Right. So that means you're not out there, you know, doing your marketing with, you know, your letters that you're sending out, your postcards you're sending out. Or if you choose to market online, you're not out there, you know, giving out your link and this, that, and the third. You're not out there doing that for not. Right. You're not just out there doing that just to, to be doing it. Right. You're, you're out there doing it and you will be compensated, you know, when a person does, you know, join through your link, even if, you know, they join at a higher level than you. So, that's a big bonus right there because like i said most of the opportunities that i'm in if you're not at the higher level you just miss out we call that fomo fear of missing out and it is real all right now hopefully you've enjoyed that um and at least found it helpful when it comes to you know making your decision you know how does it stack up you know does it does it stack up right? You know, does direct mail pro stack up yay or nay? Okay. You be the judge on that, but hopefully you have found it useful and helpful for you. Okay. Now, like I told you, I definitely do have some bonuses for some of you guys. If you decide to go ahead and take action. What I'll do is I'll just make sure I list those down in the description bonuses. If you do decide to take action with direct mail pro with me. Okay. Like I said, it isn't pre-launch. So everything that I say here is still in a pre-launch stage. So if anything changes, you already know I'm going to bring you some updates because I just want you to be informed. At the end of the day, if you're informed, you can make an informed decision and that makes for a happy business partner. Okay. Now also too, guys, I'll put my link down below for people who say, Hey, you know, offline's cool and everything, but maybe you just want to do online, right? Or maybe you want to, you know, do both and have a different compensation plan and all that good stuff. So I'm going to refer you guys to my number one uh, money-making opportunity for the online space. All right. I'm going to put that link down in the description as well. So you can feel free to uh, check out my number one recommended uh, business opportunity when it comes to online marketing. All right, other than that guys, please do subscribe to my channel, like my channel and share the video, okay? Please do share the video if you found this helpful. Other than that guys, you already know, this is D Carl Lady and we're gonna take this ride to the top, baby. All right, <laughs> here we are.